I just wanted you to see the little wine bottles that are festooned in the decor, you know, with the um, fern leaves and um, looking adorable with the design there. Um, I also want an opportune to show you. Indulge me, let me show you the wax. It is the color of wine, isn't that adorable? Um, it's a very authentic smell. On the first burn, I didn't get anything and I was a little disappointed. It's not strong for me, but it, I have, I live in California and I have been opportuned to be in many wine cellars. They are a wonderful place. Blessing from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. There ain't nothing like a good old wine cellar for, you know, people who are passionate about anything. It's a place of passion. The smells of it suggest the wonder of the Lord. You know, things are happening. You put a great, um, you put the fruit of the vine in and you come out with something that's just so much more resilient. And um, that's the color. And this is the way it smells. It's a mossy, oaky, uh, humid smell. Oak is the main note. You would think it would be the grapes, but it's not. The oak in a wine cellar is number one. And I love the smell of it. I've got such pleasant memories for going to such places. If you've ever gone to a wine tasting and been opportune to go to the wine cellar, that's what this smells like. Those oak barrels, mossy oak barrels with a light smell of um, the fruit of the vine, but not much. The, the dominant smell is the decor and Wow, they nailed it. No wonder this candle is so sought after by anybody who has that association. Uh, on the first burn, it wasn't strong enough to matter. On the second burn, it is a light but um, penetrating fragrance. So I smell it. It's not, um, it's not as strong as being in a real wine cellar. And it has a spicy note. I was able to add a little bit of this cookie scent to it and fill it out at this point. If it gets any stronger, it would be a candle I would suggest that you use by itself. So I like it. Um, I am finding myself wanting more of this candle because of the uniqueness of it and because of the experience and not just the experience I had, but you know, with wine, there are the experiences that you may have wanted to have and thought about having while you were um, enjoying the wines. And um, all of those experiences, the ones I've had and the ones I wish I had, I remember them all just as distinctly and clearly while I am smelling this wine cellar candle. And um, wine cellars are a place that if you ever visit one, you always want a memento. It's something about it. You want to buy something to cherish the experience, to take that experience home with you. And I'm not just talking about a bottle of wine. I mean, you want something like some lotion or propylene or something that reminds you of this wonderful place. So highly recommend this candle. There seems to be a glutton of them because maybe they aren't as strong as they used to be. People said these used to be powerhouse candles. And if it was powerhouse, people would smell it and buy it.
but since it's not powerhouse and Bath and Body Works is known for selling duds now and you know the exchange policies have changed everything's changed everybody's going I don't know if I want to risk it if you don't mind a uh, light to medium throw but it is persistent I think this one does fill a whole house with a light to medium throw it's just it's no longer a powerhouse and um, the design is one that appeals to me I really like this is my favorite thing is when they do these little um, fronts I don't like it when they do the wraparounds because those things melt off and you can end up with an ugly candle and of course you want to use your candle but now it's ugly so now that I've learned that I prefer the sticker or even a painted on candle or a frosted candle something like that so this suits me and you know did you catch that hollow let me show you see that the wine cellar label has a little hollow on it so you see it catches the rainbow there that's fun you know I think this is quite giftable to a sophisticated person and even better if they don't go to Bath and Body Works they might think this came from some store that's even more fancy but God bless you all and Merry Christmas